Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Just a moment. Yeah. Can you all see this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. So there are different uh, packagings which are used, all right? And these are some qualities, quality attributes of the packaging system. That is, uh, it must be ideal, transparent, so that you can see the product. Seal integrity maintain honi chahiye to uh, maintain sterility, impermeable, inert hona chahiye. It shouldn't react with your formulation inside. Should withstand the sterilization process and it must have uniform physical dimensions which help them during the automated filling procedures. So these are the two important components within a packaging material for uh, injectables. You have container and you have closures. Container may you have glass and plastic. These are the two materials which are used. Glasses be different types ke hote hai. Closures may you have a rubber stopper or plungers and you have aluminum flip-off seals. Okay. So these are the different types of containers which are used in parentrals. You have ampules. G and P stands for glass and plastic. So ampules dono ho gai. Glass and plastic ke. Vial, syringes, cartridges, all of these are uh, glass case. Syringes can be glass and plastic both. Then you have bottles and you have infusion bags. Infusion bags and bottles are for LVPs. Okay, and they are usually of plastic. And here is volume likha hai and all. And then this is about glass. Glass is usually preferred for SVPs, that is small volume parentrals. And Ye uska composition hai, silicon dioxide, magnesium, and all of that. Okay. This is the basic structure of glass that is a silicon oxide tetrahedron. Okay. And usme it has different oxides like these aluminum, boron, calcium, and all. So over a period, these oxides can leach into your material. So all of that is tested while choosing your the quality of the glass and stability testing of the product. Ke time kitna leach hua hai. From the glass, all of that is tested. Okay. So this is the different classification of glasses. You have type one, type two, type three, and type four. Type four is non not parenteral grade that is not used. Type one is borosilicate glass. Wo sabse best hota hai. Two is soda lime treated glass. And third is normal soda lime glass. So two and three mein parak kya hai ki this is treated. It is treated with moist sulfur dioxide. All right. These are the conditions under which it is treated. So uh, stability and inertness and quality wise type one sub se best hai. Next is type two. Next is type three. All right. And type three is used for oily preparations or reconstituted. Matlab usme bas powder fill hoga. Jo tumhare, uh, uh, reconstitute lyophilized powder or dry powder jo baad mein dilute karne honge. Okay? Wo sare preparations type 3 mein fill hote hai. Type 1 is highly parental. Okay? And these are the tests which are done. Okay? Powdered glass test is done for type 1, type 3. Water attack is done for type 2 because uh, type 2 may a coating ka layer hota hai or powdered glass test may we have to make we have to crush the entire glass and make a powder of it so if we do that wo coating to disrupt ho jayega coating to break ho jayega so we won't be able to test the true contents of it so that is why powdered glass test is only done for type 1 type 3 and probably type 4 type 2 jo hai uspe water attack test hota hai jisme powder nahi kiya jata hai as it is intact glass container pe test kiya jata. But then there are some challenges with glass, these leachables and extractables, okay? So when you want to test leachables, so the, these both are 
inside your glass. All right. But over a time, the leachables can leach out. It can come out of your container into the formulation. So if you want to analyze the leachables, you will have to test the drug product. That is, you have to test the formulation inside the glass. If you want to test the extractables, you will do the testing of the material itself. Okay, so that is what is extractable leachables. Then delamination, matlab glass ka flaking ho nahi lagta hai, depending on the pH and the constituents of the formulation. Adsorption, ye humne protein ka ek example leke baat kiya tha. And then cracks and scratches can develop. Moreover, glass becomes a little bulky, okay? Then you have plastics, thermoplastics are used and these are some uh, characteristics of the plastic being used. Permeation of water vapors, ho sakta hai. it can compromise on the sterility. Leaching of the constituents, ho sakta hai. Okay? and sorption of the drug molecules, all of that can happen. So these are some advantages and disadvantages of using plastic. Okay? I think it's self explainable then rubber closures mein, these are the different uh, ingredients or different types uh, of constituents which are used to make a rubber stopper you have the basic elastomer natural rubber ko chhodke, usually these days neoprene use karte hai, butyl use karte hai. vulcanizing or curing agent that is it helps in the cross-linking of these polymers with each other it basically strengthens your rubber stopper Accelerator, a reaction ko accelerate karta hai. Then you have activator. Antioxidant is also an important uh, constituent in your rubber stoppers. Okay? You don't want the constituents of the rubber stopper to oxidize. Because its final uh, result will be reflected in your formulation. Plasticizer and lubricant. It's like a coating which is done to your rubber stoppers for it for them to easily slide on the filling lines and all of that. Fillers and pigments, all of these things are there. Okay. And these are some characteristics, fine. Uh, rubber stoppers may leachability prevent karni hoti hai. So tabhi uh, usko further teflon ya fluorotex se coat kiya jata. So these days coated wale hi use kiya jata hai, rubber stopper. All right, so this was about the packaging. Understood? Did you all get an overview of it? Yes, yes. ma'am. Ma ma but huh? in type 3 one of packaging, uh, you said that silicon oxide uh, is used. So what is the use of that silicon? Sorry, sulfur oxide in that type sulfur oxide. So type 3 mein kya hota hai? Type 3 Tumhara soda lime glass hota hai. Maane ke alkaline hota hai wo. Thik hai? To wo alkaline ko, okay, neutralize karne ke liye, you treat it with moist SO2. Taki jo bhi surface ka jo alkaline, alkalinity rahega, that will be neutralized by your moist SO2. And then it will become neutral, which is nothing but your type 2. That is the role. Uh, okay, got it yes ma'am so this was about your packaging to humne ye sab cover kar diya right introduction classification excipients packaging production we'll do next class production and testing now we'll start with uh, tonicity this is one important uh, concept i hope you all have your scientific calces and book and pen for numericals right okay fine so these are the contents which we'll be going through concept of tonicity importance of tonicity tonicity and uh, osmo, uh, osmotic pressure kya hota hai iso osmotic kya hota hai and methods for calculating isotones fine what do you all understand by tonicity? Tell me that. Ma'am, the uh, whichever cells are there in a particular medium, they should be in 
equilibrium with each other without rupturing the internal structure. That's a equilibrium with respect to what? Permeable membrane. Huh. Membrane and the movement of solvents through the membrane. Okay. Osmo uh, osmotic pressure kya hota hai? Osmosis kya hota hai? Can anyone define osmosis for me? Ma'am, diffusion of solute from higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Diffusion of solute. Solvent, ma'am. Yes, diffusion of solvent. I was talking about that time while teaching colligatives. We have done colligatives together, right? Hello. Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma osmosis is the diffusion of your solvent from a region of higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Okay? So, based on that only you have three different situations okay you have three different situations all right the first one is isotonic uh, solution okay jaha pe idhar bhi water ka concentration and idhar water ka concentration same hai so there will be a movement, but it will be net movement neutralized, neutral hoga. Okay. Agar do molecule under jare, do molecule bahar are. Can you all see the animation? Two molecules are coming in, two molecules are going out. So the net osmotic pressure is going to remain same. Okay. Net osmotic pressure is going to remain same. So SR solution. Jisme tumhara cell and yaha pe the cell which uh, is being tested upon is the RBC. Okay. Different cells, different tissues will have different uh, uh, ranges of isotonicity. Theek hai? Abhi tumhara RBC is placed in a solution and wo solution mein RBC is remaining intact. Maane ke jitna exchange ho raha hai andar bahar, it is same. So that solution is called isotonic for your RBCs or that solution is isotonic to RBC or isotonic to blood. Okay. So it's very important for your parenteral solutions to be isotonic with blood. And blood maneke, it implies RBCs. Understood? That is why we tonis, uh, use tonifiers, tonicity modifiers. Ka itna use karte hai. Now, what will happen in the other case? Suppose you have a solution which is highly concentrated. Usme bohat sare solute molecules hai. Okay? This is the second case. You have many solute molecules over here. Highly concentrated solution. Okay? With respect to your RBC, it's very important that when we talk about tonicity, ki baat kare, we talk about it with respect to a particular cell or a particular tissue. So this I'm talking with respect to blood or RBCs. So solute concentration environment, mein, matlab external, is zyada hai. So where will be the, how will be the movement of your water? From RBC to outer From environment. cell to environment. Cell to the outside of the cell. Okay. In intracellular, se, ex, extracellular environment, mein water jayega. You can see the animation. So, such a solution is called as a hypertonic solution to your cell. Okay. Hypertonic solution. And in that case, what will happen? Your R you can see over here also your RBC is losing all the water content and it's shriveling. Okay. It's shriveling and that is not good. Okay. So osmotic pressure in this case, if it is more than that of plasma, a plasma jo body may already hota hai, that is isotonic. Okay. So which uh, so inherently the plasma is isotonic to blood. But if something has a higher osmotic pressure than your uh, this thing, plasma, 
उसको हम हाइपर हाइपरटोनिक सोल्यूशन बोलेंगे ओके सो वॉटर विल ऑलवेज मूव टू हाइपरटोनिक एरिया मतलब बाहर के साइड जाएगा Now here, if you have a hypotonic solution, hypotonic मतलब यहाँ पे सल्यूट का कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज वेरी लेस देन वॉटर का मूवमेंट कैसे रहेगा सल्यूट इज लेस मतलब वॉटर इज मोर एंड इधर इसके कंपेरिजन में इधर वॉटर लेस होगा सो वॉटर विल मूव फ्रॉम आउटसाइड टू इन साइड आउटसाइड टू इन साइड इट विल मूव सो योर सेल्स विल बिकम टर्जिड they will become turgid and they can undergo hemolysis hemolysis is nothing but the lysis of your rbcs breaking of your rbcs and that is also not good okay so parenterals should not be hypotonic or hypertonic to your blood they should be so isotonic ha they should be isotonic yeah so this is the same thing shown here here if it is a hypertonic solution your water will move outside and your cells will shrivel hypotonic solution hai bahar to water andar move karega and your cells will undergo hemolysis and isotonicity is that is why isotonicity is what we need fine so uh, isotonicity blood mein rehne ke liye it should be about uh, 300 milli osmols okay tumhara jo bhi solution hota hai na okay it should be about uh, 300 to 320 milli osmols one minute 300 to 320 milli osmols ka uh, isotonicity rehta hai that is इंजेक्टेबल्स एडमिनिस्टर्ड इंट्रावीनसली इट्स नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर स्मॉल वॉल्यूम इट बिकम्स वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एल वी पीज बाय why come on hello ma'am the parenterals are constantly infusing within the body so they must be equilibrium with our body fluids for that purpose to make it more isotonic equilibrium aise mat bolo it should be isotonic to the body anyone else wants to add a good chin mai correct Anyone else? Man, because LVP will have a systemic effect. Small volume parenterals won't have systemic effect. It is all because of the quantity. ठीक है? It's all because of the quantity. Now suppose you have example लेते हैं. You have a bucket filled with Uh, water. Okay, you have bucket filled with water, and that water say it's a uh, red red color का एक पानी है का uh, red colored water you have. All right. Now I want to maintain this red colored water. All right. I want to maintain this red color of water. Now. Uh, for some reason i have to add uh, something now if there's someone who wants to spoil this thing okay uske paas ek blue color ka solution hai colored solution se 5 ml hai and uh, dusre wale ke paas who wants to spoil this thing he has again blue colored solution but uh, se ye 50 ml hai uske paas All right. कौन सा वाला डालने पे द इफेक्ट द चेंज विल बी मोर ओके उसको अगर रेड कलर का ओके रेड कलर की इंटेग्रिटी 
डिस्टॉर्ट करनी है ओके फी वॉन्ट्स टू स्पॉल के यू शुड इन बी हैविंग दैट रेड कलर वॉटर उसको कितना अमाउंट ऑफ सम अदर कलर डालना पड़ेगा टू स्पॉइल दैट रेड कलर फिफ्टी एम एल फिफ्टी एम एल ओके तो थोड़ा क्वांटिटी डालने पे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं होगा बट वेन यू पुट और वेन यू इन्फ्यूज मोर क्वांटिटी देन द चेंज विल बी मैसिव दैट इज वॉट इज हैपनिंग विथ योर एस वी पीस एंड योर एल वी पीस एल वी पीस तो बीट मोर देन हंड्रेड एम एल राइट वेन इट गोज इन योर ब्लड ऑल राइट अगर ब्लड में मैं इंट्रावीनस की बात कर रही हूँ स्ट्रिक्टली अगर मैंने इंट्रावीनस इंजेक्शन स्मॉल वॉल्यूम दिया फाइव एम एल टेन टेन एम एल दिया फिफ्टीन एम एल दिया इतना दिक्कत नहीं होगा इवन इफ उसका आइसोटोनिसिटी मतलब इट्स नॉट आइसोटोनिक टू ब्लड फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी जस्ट पुट इट लाइक दैट इफ इट्स नॉट आइसोटोनिक टू द ब्लड इवन दो आई एम इंजेक्टिंग फिफ्टीन एम एल इतना डिफरेंस नहीं होगा ऑल राइट वो डाइल्यूट uh, हो जाएगा हियर ऑल्सो वेन द ब्लू वाटर इज बींग पुट इन लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ रेड वाटर वो डाइल्यूट हो जाएगा चेंज इतना दिखाई नहीं देगा बट जब मैं लीटर्स ऑफ लीटर्स एल वी पी इन्फ्यूज कर रही हूँ ओके हंड्रेड एम एल टू हंड्रेड एम एल देन एंड वो भी कंटिन्यूज मोड पे इन्फ्यूजन इज कंटिन्यूज ओके एस वी पी में एट द मैक्स क्या होगा लोकल इरिटेशन होगा तुम्हारे स्किन पे ओके दैट इज फाइन दैट कैन बी सबसाइडेड In fact, वो भी it's taken care of. But when you're infusing and infusing liters of, uh, say, your saline or uh, your drug formulation and all of that, the effect it will have on your already circulating blood will be more. And that is why it will become very important to maintain its tonicity. तुमने आरबीसी के एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट में दो तीन ड्रॉप सॉल्ट वाटर का डाल दिया इतना इफेक्ट नहीं पड़ेगा बट इफ यू पुट वन फुल ग्लास ऑफ वाटर ऑफ हाईली कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सॉल्ट सोल्यूशन देन इट विल कॉज अ प्रॉब्लम आई ऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस क्लियरली सो दैट इज वाई टोनिसिटी डजेंट बिकम अ प्रॉब्लम इन योर एस बी पीज बट इट बिकम्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी क्रूशल क्राइटेरिया इन योर एल पी पी समझा Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. However, products administered by all other routes, especially into the eye or the spinal fluid, must also be isotonic. तुम कौन से भी tissue में administer करो ये मैंने IV का example दिया कौन से भी tissue में administer करो it must be isotonic. And in these tissues, uh, even if you are administering small amount, it should be isotonic. ब्लड में एलवीपीज के लिए इट बिकम्स वेरी क्रूशियल एसवीपीज में मैनेजेबल है बाय बिकॉज़ तुम्हारे ब्लड का वॉल्यूम इज वेरी हाई कितना ब्लड होता है बॉडी में अप्रॉक्स यस ओके आइडियल केस में उतना होता है आइडियल बॉडी वेट एंड ऑल दैट के हिसाब से सो वो क्या बोलते हैं डाइल्यूट हो जाता है इन केस ऑफ स्मॉल वॉल्यूम्स बट इन केस ऑफ लार्ज वॉल्यूम्स यू नीड टू टेक केयर इन केस ऑफ दिस ऑक्टेलमिक एंड स्पाइनल फॉर्मुलेशन तुम्हें स्मॉल वॉल्यूम्स में भी यू नीड टू बी केयरफुल इमेजिन इफ यू आर बोर्डिंग अ हाइपरटोनिक आई ड्रॉप इन द आईज इज इंट इट गोइंग टू कॉज अ मैसिव इरिटेशन टू द पेशेंट यस Yes. Yes, right. So that is why, uh, जो जहा भी हम एडमिनिस्टर करने वाले हैं फॉर्म्यूलेशन इंट्रामस्क्यूलर इंट्राडर्मल ऑफ्टेलमिक ऑफ्टेलमिक में भी एक्विस में इंट्राविट्रियल वेर एवर वी आर एडमिनिस्टरिंग वो फॉर्म्यूलेशन वो रीजन के साथ उसका पी एच भी सेम होना चाहिए एंड उसकी टोनिसिटी भी सेम होनी चाहिए ऑल राइट right? and then depending on what tissue is it what volume is it wo sab ke chalte kitna we can be fine and kitna we will be like ki nahi isko to isotonic hona hi chahiye all right isotonic injections help in minimizing the pain and uh, tissue irritation i told you right if it's not isotonic you will have 
skin irritation and all of that in case of IV. The agents most commonly used uh, as tonicity modifiers are your electrolytes and your uh, saccharides. You have your NaCl's, you have your KCl's, you have your uh, dextrose, glucose, okay? Ye sare hote hai. So, just saline bags hoti hai na, wo, ye sab hoti hai. All your uh, dextrose and sucrose and all. And then, uh, usme you inject your formulation. So, uske saar, uh, okay? Usme also, it will be Say, for example, tumhara ye jo IV ka bag hai, okay? That IV bag is nothing but your uh, NACL. 0.9% weight by volume NACL is isotone, okay? That is there. So, isme, this is already isotonic with your blood. So, isme me some amount of mera formulation inject karugi such that the total isotonicity is still going to be maintained and then this is going to be infused to the patient. <coughs> Samja? Yes, ma'am. Good. Yeah, so these are the tonicity modifiers. An aqueous solution of NaCl at a concentration of 0.9% has a measured osmolarity of 286 millimoles per liter. And this is isotonic to the human plasma. Fine. 286 and osmols may it is around, it becomes 300 to 320 milli osmols. Jitna ho jata. Fine. Hypotonic injection solutions. Hypotonic. Matlab jisme tumhara salute concentration hypotonic is what? Salute concentration kam hoga ki zyada hoga? Mm, Less. Low raga. Low, low salute concentration. In hypot, yeah, it will be low. So hypotonic may, okay, they are made uh, isotonic by using these sodium chloride, dextrose or mannitol. Okay, you are adding more salutes. These things will be contributing in the amount of salutes, right? So you are adding more salutes and making it isotonic. Now, in case of hypertonic injection, hypertonic mein tumhara salute concentration kam rahega, zyada rahega? More salute on more. Zyada rahega. Okay, hypertonic injection solutions mein, it is made isotonic by dilution. Simple. You have to dilute it. Here, you will have to increase the salute content. So, you are adding these things. But when you don't want more salutes, you will simply dilute it with WFI. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So this is about tonicity. Now let us understand tonicity and osmoticity. Okay. Now let us take an example of boric acid solution. 2% weight by volume boric acid solution. Now boric acid, let me give you a disclaimer. Pelehi. This is not used in IV form. Now, 2% of your boric acid has the same osmotic pressure as that of the blood cell contents. Okay. So, 2% boric acid solutions. Okay. Uska osmotic pressure, jo blood cell ke saath hota hai, wo same hai. And is therefore said to be iso-osmotic with blood. Fine. So, I ek abhi ye partition liya hai. Of semi permeable membrane, obviously, semi permeable membrane. Ek baju mene blood cells rakhe, or ek baju mene 2% boric acid rakha. So, yaha pe the osmosis is same. They both are iso osmotic. Fine? They both are iso osmotic with blood. So, jo net movement of water rahega, wo same rahega. But the same boric acid solution serves as an isotonic ophthalmic preparation. Why? Because what happens is that your RBCs are also semi-permeable in nature. And boric acids 
उसमें परमिएट हो सकते हैं ऑल राइट सो बोरिक एसिड वेन इट कम्स ये तो वेन दीज टू थिंग्स आर सेपरेटेड ओके नाउ अगर दोनों को मैंने एक में रख दिया जैसे इधर आरबीसी एंड बोरिक एसिड दोनों एक ही उसमें है एक ही कंटेनर में है सो वॉट विल हैपन इज बोरिक एसिड विल परमिएट इन टू योर आरबीसी सो अभी क्या हुआ अभी तुम्हारा आरबीसी का सल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बढ़ गया करेक्ट करेक्ट आरबीसी का सल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अभी बढ़ गया बिकॉज दिस कुड परमिएट इन साइड एंड नाउ वॉट विल हैपन बिकॉज इज दट सल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बढ़ गया ये जो है ये अभी हाइपोटोनिक हो गया जो आइसोटोनिक था इसके सारे इलेक्ट्रोलाइट दे वेंट इन साइड सो दिस सोल्यूशन नाउ बिकेम हाइपोटोनिक करेक्ट करेक्ट इट बिकेम हाइपोटोनिक सो नाउ वे विल द वॉटर फ्लो इन साइड द सेल हाँ आउटसाइड टू इन साइड इट विल फ्लो वॉटर एंड क्या होगा इवेंचुअली लाइसिस हो जाएगा सेल का अंडरस्टूड सो दिस इज दिस दिस वुड हैपन इन केस ऑफ बोरिक एसिड सो अगर हम बोलते हैं समथिंग इज आइसो ऑस्मोटिक दे नीड नॉट बी आइसोटोनिक ओके एंड आइसो ऑस्मोटिक सिस्टम विल ओनली बी आइसोटोनिक इफ इट्स नॉट परमिएटिंग इन साइड अगर सपोज ये बोरिक एसिड बाहर ही रहता देन इट वुड हैव बीन आइसोटोनिक ओनली राइट बिकॉज देर इज नो मूवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर और इज द नेट मूवमेंट इज गोइंग टू बी न्यूट्रलाइज ओके न्यूट्रलाइज नहीं क्या बोलते हैं नलिफाइड नेट मूवमेंट बट बिकॉज तुम्हारा बोरिक एसिड इज परमिएबल इन साइड दिस आरबीसी वो आरबीसी के इंटरनल एनवायरमेंट का सल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बढ़ा देगा and obviously jo external environment now will become hypotonic so in order to maintain tonicity an bahar ka pani andar jayega cells will become turgid and it will undergo lysis all right so that is what will happen so therefore boric acid solution brings about rapid hemolysis understood when used with blood now this is not the case in ophthalmic tissues that is why boric acid can be used in ophthal are used in ophthalmic preparation okay therefore a solution containing quantity of a drug calculated to be isoosmotic will be isotonic only if they do not permeate into the blood cells samjhaiye sabko hello सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग क्वॉंटिटी ऑफ अ ड्रग विच इज कैलकुलेटेड टू बी आइसो ऑस्मोटिक ओके दो सेपरेट में जब आइसो ऑस्मोटिक मतलब क्या इट इज सेपरेटेड बाय अ सेमी परमियबल मैम ओके आइसो ऑस्मोटिक विथ ब्लड वो तभी आइसोटोनिक होगा ओके इफ इट इज आइसो ऑस्मोटिक इट विल बी आइसोटोनिक ओनली वेन द ब्लड सेल्स आर इम्पर्मिएबल टू द सल्यूट मॉलिक्यूल मतलब ऐसे ही अगर बोरिक एसिड अंदर जा नहीं सकता था देन इट वुड हैव बीन आइसोटोनिक ओके बट इफ योर ड्रग मॉलिक्यूल्स कैन ऑल्सो गो इन साइड द आरबीसी then the same thing will happen right it won't be isotonic understood yes ma'am everyone yes ma'am yes okay good so iso osmotic and isotonic ke beech ka difference samjha right iso osmotic reh sakta hai उसमें से वी कैन हैव एन अंदाजा कि ये आइसोटोनिक भी होगा बट कब होगा जब वो सेल के अंदर परमिएट ना हो तब भी हो तो टोनिसिटी वैल्यू इज डिफाइंड ओके एज पर द डेफिनेशन इट इज डिफाइंड एज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एन एक्विस एनएसीएल सोल्यूशन 
having the same colligative properties as the solution in question. Mane, I told you NaCl has some colligative properties. Okay, NaCl solution, especially 0.9% NaCl solution is isotonic with blood. Okay. So, kitna concentration of Na, aqueous NaCa solution is having same uh, property as some other formulation. Say you've made, uh, if you've made some drug solution for parenteral use, okay? Iska kitna amount, iska kitna amount, or rather iska kitna amount will give you same isotonicity. With this, or say five ml of drug solution hai, hume inject karna hai. For example, five hundred five ml. Okay, so uh, five ml ka isotonicity kitna hai with respect to 0.9 percent NaCl. That is isotonicity. This is a book definition. As we go ahead, you all will understand exactly how it is balanced. Okay. So at times to maintain the isotonicity of a drug product, we need to add NaCl add karna padega taki jo bhi total hai will become isotonic with your blood. That is what needs to be found out. All right. Understood everyone? I'm going slow. Like I'm purposely going slow in this. So, yeah. So there are different ways of calculating isotonicity. First is a freezing point method, freezing point depression method. Ye tumhara colligative properties mein jaise humne padha, it's similar to that. But there is one derived formula, we'll solve sums based on that. And then there are methods which are uh, classified as class 1 and class 2. Class 1 may you have cryoscopic method, again it's uh, related to freezing point only. And then you have sodium chloride equivalent method, which I have already told. Class 2 may you have Vincent uh, white and Vincent method, and then you have Sprouls. So let us look at them one by one. So freezing point depression method, the amount of adjusting substance, adjusting substance means ke your tonicity modifier. The amount of adjusting substance required to make a Hypotonic solution, isotonic, is given by this equation. I have told you, right? All of this is used for hypotonic. This means you have to add uh, tonicity agents. When you add tonicity agents, add karne padte hai, uh, that addition is required in case of hypotonic solution. Okay? So, how much amount of adjusting substance is required to make a hypotonic uh, solution isotonic is given by this formula. Where W is the percent weight by volume, okay, of the adjusting substance in the final solution. Final solution means that I have 100 ml ka solution. Banana hai. Usme mujhe kitna percentage of adjusting substance lagega? That is W. Then A is the freezing point depression of the unadjusted solution. Matlab, uh, as it is solution ka. Uh, Freezing point depression kya hai without adding the substance. And B is freezing point depression of water due to 1% of adjusting substance. In presence of adjusting substance, uska freezing point kitna hai. And this minus 0.52 is the freezing point of both human blood and lacrimal fluid. A common factor, jaise liya hai. we don't need to understand the derivation of the formula, but uh, with respect to MCQ, this is crucial. Ke ye jo minus uh, 0 0.52 degree Celsius, hai, that is a factor or constant taken up by the freezing point of your uh, human blood and lacrimal fluid. Okay, and this temperature corresponds to the freezing point of your 0.9 percent NaCl solution which is considered as isotonic with your blood also and your lacrimal fluid also. Okay? These are the two most sensitive things, blood and lacrimal tissue, your eyes. Fine? 
and yeah this is also one formula based on that k okay, your uh, depression in freezing point in degree celsius is nothing but the uh, constant okay this is one way of calculating l iso is a constant uh, w is the quantity of your solute uh, this is the molecular weight of your solute and v is the volume of the entire solution that is how you will calculate the depression in freezing point if you are not given depression in freezing point ke numericals i think we've solved in the colligative thing right so that is the thing ye jo l iso matlab jo hum kf lagate the na kf ya kb lagate the na that is this constant ठीक है सो वील सॉल्व द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल एवरीवन हेलो यस ओके सो रीड द क्वेश्चन मेक अ सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग मेक अ सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग जीरो पॉइंट टू एट परसेंट के सी एल आइजोटोनिक बाय एडिशन ऑफ एनहाइड्रेस ग्लूकोज मतलब ये पॉइंट टू परसेंट KCl solution ko we have to make it isotonic by anhydrous glucose and yahan pe freezing point diya hai so you don't have to calculate freezing point alag se kya diya hai 1% solution ka of KCl ka freezing point is this much and 1% of anhydrous glucose ka freezing point is this much now remember in this formula ऑल्सो ये जो फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन दिया है दैट इज फॉर वन परसेंट ओके फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वन परसेंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन एक्स ऑफ सो एंड सो स्पेंट ऑल राइट सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला आई विल गिव यू ऑल द फॉर्मूला ओके सो वॉट इज गिवेन वन परसेंट पोटेशियम क्लोराइड का फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट वन परसेंट एंड हाइड्रोज ग्लूकोज का डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला अलग से फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट कैलकुलेट नहीं करना है समझा ना क्यों बिकॉज इट्स ऑलरेडी गिवन सो नाउ कैलकुलेट ए इज अनजस्टेड सब्सटेंस का डिप्रेशन एंड बी इज एडजस्ट करने के बाद का डिप्रेशन आई होप यू आर सॉल्विंग द सम and once you all are done solving you all can put the answer on chat box or else uh, raise your hands you all are with me right yes ma'am okay these are very easy numericals they are not that time consuming try solving it without calci exam mein calci nahi hoga tum log ke paas come on no one has put an answer yet
All right. Are you all understanding how to approach the sum? Chinmayi, Purnima, Malika. No, ma'am. So, bolo na. Okay. Acha, pehle to, what is the question? The que okay, this is the question. Now, yaha pe there is a hint which is given ke freezing point depression diya hai. So, you are going to use this formula. Fine. Abhi hum bhoat saare methods padhne wale hai. Wo saare methods me se konsa method use karna hai? उसका हिंट इधर ही पता चल गया कि फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन वाला मेथड यूज करना अभी फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन में दो फॉर्मूला होगा फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला इज दिस टू हाउ टू फाइंड द डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट टी एफ वाई डू वी नीड दिस बिकॉज हमें इधर यूज करना है जहां पे ए और बी फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट है ठीक है <coughs> तो पहले तो मैंने ये लिख लिया कि वॉट इज गिविंग वन परसेंट पोटेशियम क्लोराइड का फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट दिया है वन परसेंट एनहाइड्रेस ग्लूकोज का फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट दिया है नाउ डब्ल्यू ओके सो मुझे अभी फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट कैलकुलेट करने की जरूरत नहीं है सो so, वो डेल्टा टी एफ का फॉर्मूला का जरूरत नहीं है नाउ हियर आई हैव टू फाइंड डब्ल्यू करेक्ट वट इज डब्ल्यू कितना मुझे हाउ मच adjusting substance should i be adding and kaun sa adjusting substance hai yahan pe potassium chloride nahi anhydrous glucose is the addition uh, adjusting substance no potassium chloride is your main thing okay make a solution containing this isotonic by addition of anhydrous glucose सो so, मेरा जो एडजस्टिंग uh, सब्सटेंस है जो बी है दैट इज एनहाइड्रेस ग्लूकोज एंड ए इज योर मेन ड्रग हियर के सी एल इज यूज एज एन एडजस्टिंग सब्सटेंस बट एज पर दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज योर मेन ड्रग ओके सो डब्ल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू ये तो कॉन्स्टेंट ही रहेगा इतना माइनस ए ए इज वॉट द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन of your uh, freezing point depression of your uh, unadjusted substance matlab kcl ka freezing point depression which is calculated at 1% so 1% तो kcl ka freezing point depression itna hai but are we dealing with 1% kcl no we are dealing with 0.28% kcl correct and it's a colligative property colligative property amount of solute ke sath change hoga so depression in freezing point bhi amount of solute ke sath change hoga correct so 1% kcl ka itna hai depression in freezing point so 0.28% ka kitna hoga multiply ho jayega correct 0.28 into 0.439 All right, and B is this only. B ka to hume find out karna hai kitna percent. So B ka hum one percent hi le lenge. That is zero point one zero one. Fine. Now solve this and tell me. I hope you all know. First, you have to solve the bracket, and then the numerator, and then numerator upon denominator. कितना आया यू कैन डायरेक्टली से इट आउट लाउड थ्री पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फोर जीरो यस ओके फाइन सो जो भी आया तुम्हें दैट इज योर डब्ल्यू and w ka units is very important main jo assignment dungi half mark is just for the units ha huh? so be careful so the units will be what again percent weight by weight by yeah right so jo bhi aaya 3.93 3.94 is 
percent weight by volume. That means three point. And you all know percent weight by volume is what one percent weight by volume. मतलब one gram in hundred ml. Okay, when I say one percent W by V is one gram in hundred ml. So इसका मतलब क्या हुआ three point nine three gram in hundred ml. अरे ओके थ्री पॉइंट नाइन थ्री ग्राम इन हंड्रेड एम एल मतलब आई नीड थ्री पॉइंट नाइन थ्री ग्राम इन हंड्रेड एम एल ओके थ्री पॉइंट नाइन थ्री ग्राम ऑफ दिस इन हंड्रेड एम एल टू मेक द पोटेशियम क्लोराइड सोल्यूशन आइजोटोनिक विद प्लाज्मा ऑल राइट दैट इज द थिंग इधर सपोज इन लोग ने बोला रहता कि फाइव एम एल ऑफ पॉइंट टू एट परसेंट पोटेशियम क्लोराइड में कितना होगा अगर इधर एक बस एक पॉइंट एड करते कि फाइव एम एल में कितना होता तो तुम लोग को इधर एक अडिशनल स्टेप करना पड़ता कि थ्री पॉइंट नाइन थ्री ग्राम इन हंड्रेड एम एल तो फाइव एम एल में कितना उतना ग्राम वुड बी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फाइव एम एल टू मेक के सी एल फाइव एम एल ऑफ के सी एल सोल्यूशन आइजोटोनिक विथ प्लाज्मा समझा सबको पक्का ओके गुड नेक्स्ट इज ऑल्सो क्रायोस्कोपिक मेथड उसका भी सेम ही है फाइन क्रायोस्कोपिक मेथड डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट सी ऑफ द डिफरेंट मेथड यार ये वाला sorry freezing point and cryoscopic method they are going to be same only fine right? so don't uh, panic if you all uh, read cryoscopic method in the question now the question is how much of sodium chloride is required to render render mane ke to make 100 ml of 1% solution of so and so isotonic with blood तो पहले ये बोलो मुझे ड्रग कौन सा है एंड एडजस्टिंग सब्सटेंस कौन सा है इन दिस केस सोडियम क्लोराइड इज एडजस्टिंग सब्सटेंस ओके एंड योर एंड दिस विल बिकम ड्रग ओके सो पहले तो ये आइडेंटिफाई कर दो अभी क्रायोस्कोपिक अभी इन लोगों ने क्वेश्चन में ही फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट दिया है so which method you will go with your freezing point or your cryoscopic method correct fine abhi yahan pe ye bhi 1% hai and your freezing point always is giving in 1% only most matlab at least in this question it's given in 1% only so do we have to multiply or anything no ma'am no and pehli baat to फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डायरेक्टली दिया है सो डेल्टा टी एफ हमें कैलकुलेट करने की जरूरत नहीं है सो वी कैन डिरेक्टली गो विद फॉर्मूला वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला ओके यहाँ पे इट इज ब्लड सीरम ब्लड सीरम की जगह लैक्रिमिल फ्लूड भी होता ना आई का देन ऑल्सो वी विल गो विथ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू वन सो नाउ सॉल्व दिस एंड टेल मी
आई एल सॉल्विंग इट इतना टाइम क्यों लग रहा है सो हाउ डू यू डू दिस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू माइनस वॉट इज योर एयर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट एंड वॉट इज योर बी एयर चिन्मय जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एट Are you all understanding? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So solve this. What do you get? Zero point seven five. Zero point seven five. What are the units? Malika. Malika, what are the units? Andrea, percentage weight by volume. Okay, thank you. So this is percent weight by volume. So how will you report this? Can anyone give me in a sentence form? Andrea, or is uh, Rutuja? मैम जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट वेट बाय वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड रिक्वायर्ड टू रिक्वायर्ड टू रिक्वायर्ड टू अद्वैत यस मैम या कैन यू गिव दिस इन अ सेंटेंस फॉर्म इसका मतलब क्या हुआ ये हमने क्या फाइंड आउट किया है How will you give your final answer? Ma'am, zero point seven five eight percent by weight volume, which is zero point seven five gram per hundred ml of uh, of amomorphin HCl. Ah. Oh no, sorry. NaCl. Ah. 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 Ah.
okay will be required to render or will be required to render or will be required to make 100 ml of 1% so and so solution isotonic to blood to or isotonic with blood serum theek hai so your answer will change if this changes and your answer will change if this changes fine 100 ml ke jagah agar 200 ml hota to idhar bhi hum 2 se multiply kar dete because this much is in 100 ml so 200 ml ke liye kitna so accordingly this will change abhi ye 1% hai suppose 5% hai to 1% ke liye itna 5% ke liye kitna that wo to tum log idhar hi kar dete okay idhar hi you will account for that 5% fine Now let us move on to the next method, which is sodium chloride equivalent method. Isko tonicic method, equivalent method bhi bolte hai. Fine. And it was developed by Mellon and Seltzer. Important, please note it down. So the sodium chloride equivalent, which is denoted as E of a drug, is the amount of sodium chloride that is equivalent to 1 gram or other unit weight of the drug. Which has the same osmotic pressure. So, जब हम बोलते हैं, when we calculate E for a drug, पहली बात तो ये समझो, sodium chloride equivalent of a drug मतलब drug का sodium chloride equivalent we are calculating. So, when we calculate drug का E value, that is nothing but कितना sodium chloride would be equivalent to have उसका same osmotic pressure. 1 gram drug ke liye kitna sodium chloride lagega to make it osmotic, iso-osmotic. Okay? To make it iso-osmotic. That is your E. That is your sodium chloride equivalent. So E kaise calculate karte hai? E is nothing but 17 into the constant upon the molecular weight. Molecular weight of your drug. Fine? It is very important for these type of sums that you have NaCl ka molecular weight by heart. Rahe. There can be a possibility where NaCl ka molecular weight is not there. Okay? Drug ka to obviously is there. So just uh, NaCl ka molecular weight and also the depression in freezing point. Ek bar jaan lo. So this is your E. And usme se, agar hume x calculate karna hai ke, kitna amount of NaCl lagega. So x is nothing but y is the additional amount of NaCl for isotonicity. Sorry, x is your drug ka quantity. And E is the uh, sodium chloride equivalent to 1 gram of your isotonic age. Fine. Let us solve the sum so you all will understand. Just note down this formula. Okay, so a solution contains 1 gram of ephedrine sulfate in a volume of 100 ml. Okay, so it's about 1% weight by volume here. What quantity of sodium chloride must be added to make the solution isotonic? And how much dextrose also would be required for this purpose? So, what is the drug? Kaun sa hai? Mujhe wo bolo. Or adjusting solution, uh, adjusting moiety kya hai? Dextrose. Do hai. NaCl bhi hai and dextrose bhi hai. Now for some reason they want a combination of both. So how are we going to calculate? Okay. So 1 gram of ephedrine sulfate in a volume of 100 ml. What quantity of sodium chloride must be added to make the solution? Isotonic. Okay. And how much dextrose is also required to make it isotonic for this purpose? So now we know achha, isotonicity. Ke liye, okay. 
so this is ha uh, and these two things are also given sodium chloride equivalent of uh, ephedrine is also given and sodium chloride equivalent of dextrose is also so pehle to hame nacl ka quantity find out karna hai ki nacl kitna lagega what quantity of nacl is needed now we know for isotonicity okay kitna nacl lagta hai how much nacl is isotonic with blood 0.9 परसेंट इज आइसोटोनिक एंड यहाँ पे सोडियम ड्रग का कितना है इक्विवेलेंट पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री फाइन सो टू गेट इतना आइसोटोनिसिटी हम एन ए सी एल भी एड करना है एंड ये इवन दिस इज देर एफिड्रिन सल्फेट इज ऑल्सो देर विच इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग ओके ये हमें फाइनल चाहिए ओके उसके लिए पॉइंट टू थ्री इज द एफेड्रिन का एफेड्रिन सोडियम इक्विवेलेंट है तो एन का कितना कंट्रीब्यूशन है पहले वो फाइंड आउट करें फाइन सो व्हाट विल इट बी पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वो रहेगा so this is the weight of nacl which is required fine this is the weight of nacl required now what was the formula x equals to additional amount of nacl upon the e matlab abhi hame dextrose ka calculate karna hai theek hai x is y upon e y is what the additional amount of nacl एंड ई इज जो भी हम एडजस्टिंग सब्सटेंस यूज करें उसका इक्वी वाले तो अभी अडिशनल अमाउंट ऑफ एनएसीएल क्या है सो योर फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज आंसर हाउ मच वॉट क्वांटिटी ऑफ एनएसीएल मस्ट बी एडेड टू मेक द सोल्यूशन आइसोटोन सो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन ये क्या आएगा ग्राम्स आएगा इन हंड्रेड एम एल फाइन दिस इज द थिंग अभी नाउ हियर यू टेल मी वॉट इज योर वाई अभी डेक्सट्रोज का क्वांटिटी मुझे फाइंड आउट करना है सो वॉट इज वाई वॉट इज दैट एडिशनल अमाउंट ऑफ एन ए सी एल जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन गुड जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इज द एडिशनल अमाउंट ऑफ एन ए सी एल विच वी फाउंड आउट एंड अभी डेक्सट्रोज के लिए वॉट इज ई डेक्सट्रोज के लिए वॉट इज ई जीरो कैलकुलेट दिस एंड दिस विल गिव यू हाउ मच डेक्सट्रोज ऑल्सो वुड बी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस पर्पज वॉट इज द आंसर यू आर गेटिंग एंड द यूनिट What's the answer? एक डिविजन करने को कितना टाइम ओके या सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ये हमने 0.67 पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन कैलकुलेट किया विच इज नथिंग बट फोर पॉइंट टू सो वट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ योर आंसर फर्स्ट पार्ट इज दिस दैट द एफिड्रिन सल्फेट हैज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड अ वेट ऑफ मटीरियल जीरो पॉइंट टू थ्री ओके एफिड्रिन ने आइसोटोनिक बनाने के लिए कितना कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट किया पॉइंट टू थ्री ग्राम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट किया सो रिमेनिंग कितना एनएसीएल हमें लगेगा पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन ग्राम दैट वॉज आस्ट हियर फाइन 
Now the second part ke liye, when we use this formula, what we got is 4.2 gram of dextrose would be required to make one gram of ephedrine sulfate uh, in 100 ml. Okay, isotonic banane ke liye hume itna lagu. Fine. So this is the sodium chloride equivalent method. Ke pehle hum find out karenge ke ye X drug ko हमें आइसोटोनिक बनाना है तो एक्स ड्रग का कंट्रीब्यूशन कितना है पहले वो फाइंड आउट करें ओके एक्स ड्रग का कंट्रीब्यूशन कितना है और उसके लिए NaCl का कितना नीड है इफ इट इज आस्क्ड एंड देन वो एडिशनल अमाउंट ऑफ NaCl के जगह पे इफ आई वांट टू यूज डेक्सट्रोज ओके तो कितना अमाउंट ऑफ डेक्सट्रोज लगेगा दैट वी फाउंड आउट इज इट अंडरस्टूड एवरीवन Yes, ma'am. Pakka. If you all have any doubts, you all can ask me. And uh, next class, we have one more class. So that is why I have taken up this topic mid lecture. Okay, next class, if you all have any doubts regarding the numericals, we can solve that. Fine. So can I go ahead and uh, please go through these sums once again by yourselves. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, this is another sodium chloride equivalent method. Before this, I would like to go through the other methods, ma'am. So this is the White Vincent method. Fine. White Vincent method ka ye formula hai, wherein V is the volume of the isotonic solution that may be prepared by mixing the drug with water. W is the weight of the drug given in the problem. Matlab kitna drug hai tumare paas? That is W. E is bo drug ka sodium chloride equivalent kya hai. Triple 1.1 is a factor. And V matlab bo drug ka tumhe kitna solution banana padega in water to make it isotonic. White Vincent method mein tum directly drug ko hi uh, isotonic uh, utna drug use karoge ke wo isotonic ban jaye. All right. So, usme, there is no other uh, agent which is being used here. So, uh, I would want, huh? so, yeah, you can solve this one sum instead. Make the following solution isotonic with respect to an ideal membrane. Phenacin hydrochloride, boric acid, and Water, 100 ml head total. And you have been given E values. And this is the formula. Can you still see the screen? Can you all see the PPT? Yes, ma'am. So, here, there are two things which are needed. Right? There are two things in this formulation. Pinacin hydrochloride bhi hai and boric acid bhi hai. So, dono ka kitna amount hum lenge ke wo isotonic banega. You can see the slides, right? 
दोनों का कितना अमाउंट लेंगे सो हाउ विल बी सॉल्व दिस इज नाउ देर आर टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर्स ओके सो दिस विल बी वन प्लस दिस विल बी टू ओके All right. So, what is your first contributor? Pinacin hydrochloride, right? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, its quantity is how much? Zero point zero six, and its E value is zero point two zero. Plus, you have your second contributor, which is point three gram of boric acid. and uska equivalent is 0.5 and then you have your factor can you solve this now and i solve it One point seven nine nine eight two. One point seven nine is seventeen point nine. Seventeen point nine. Seventeen point nine decimals. देखो. So approx eighteen. So the drugs are mixed with water to make eighteen ml of an isotonic solution. And preparation is brought to a volume of. 100 ml by adding a isotonic diluting solution or isotonic buffered diluting solution fine so this is how it it is going to be calculated now don't worry about white vincent method the main common two methods are going to be your uh, cryoscopic and sodium equivalent method this white vincent is specially for your hypertonic solution i forgot to tell you it's for your hypertonic solution where you further have to just dilute that is why you don't have a, a tonicity modifier in this solution fine that is the thing to so, hum itna gram uh, drug lenge okay itni quantities lenge and first we'll make it to 18 ml with water okay इतना करके जो हमें आंसर आया 18 ml दैट इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर सो हम हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर दिस इज 0.06 ग्राम ऑफ योर ड्रग एंड 0.30 ग्राम ऑफ योर बोरिक एसिड लेंगे उसको 18 ml वाटर में डिसॉल्व करेंगे एंड देन जो जब हम डाइल्यूट करेंगे वी विल डाइल्यूट इट विथ अ प्लेन वाटर प्लेन डाइल्यूटिंग सोल्यूशन be it your isotonic buffered solution or some other isotonic solution okay be it directly 0.9% isotonic nacl or be it uh, direct wfi or be it some other buffered solution but itna jo rahega na 18 ml jo rahega 18 ml of this that itself is going to be isotonic with your blood समझा ये सबको हेलो यस मैम ऑल राइट देन सो आई थिंक वी कैन वाइंड अप हियर प्लीज गो थ्रू दीज सम्स विच वी हैव सॉल्व्ड इन क्लास आई विल गिव यू थ्री और फोर प्रॉब्लम्स एज असाइनमेंट्स डू दैट एंड इस बार आई विल गिव यू ऑल अ टाइम टिल थर्सडे ओनली आई थिंक थर्सडे इज फाइन एन अप राइट Thursday tak take your time solve the sums four sums to sunday monday tuesday wednesday wednesday tak bhi ho jana chahiye if you solve one sum at a time fine in a day if you solve 
find some. Yes, ma'am. Any doubts? So we learned three methods. Understand White Vincent method. Um, White Vincent method is for your dilution, and the other two are for your hypotonic solution. Fine. So can we end today's class? We'll meet next week, next Saturday on 8th. Tabi, we are going to discuss MCQs, assignment questions, and we'll finish up the topic. Okay? Can we wind up? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. All right. Bye-bye then. Good night. I hope you all don't have any doubts with today's class. Huh. All right then. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.